I want to go through door number three. Nope, you can't. Huh? Why? Because it's impossible. If we split ourselves into three and three, then we give up on going through door three. Why? The bracelet numbers for the six of us are three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are two combinations that can go through door three with three people. Three, four, five, or six, seven, eight. That's it. Of course, two teams can't go through the same door. I see. That means one team would get left behind. That's right. That doesn't happen if we go through door seven or eight? No, they're fine. We've got three options. Option A, have three, five, and eight go through door seven, and four, six, option B, four, and three, option C, three, six, and seven go through seven, and four, five, and eight get eight. Those are the only three options. That's it. At least if we want to get all six of us out of here. Wait. But that means five and six can never be on the same team. If we want all six of us to go through a door, then June and I can't go into the same one. <sighs> Have you molded over enough, or do you need more time? Anyway, that's the deal, so think it over. You've got two choices, seven or eight. You can't choose three. If you choose three, you're gonna be leaving three people behind to die. So what are you gonna do? Seven or eight? Sorry, Santa, but I still want to go through door three. What? That's nuts! You've got to be crazy! Why the hell are you so obsessed with that door? I'm just... I'm just curious about door three. That's all. That doesn't explain shit! I've got a reason. I'd be happy to explain it to you if you'll just come with me. I'm curious about the red. Seven, would, would you mind authenticating for me? What? Why? Please, just do it. Happy? Yeah, thanks. The number seven has been entered into the red. Next is June. Uh, please touch the red just like seven did. Jumpy, what are you trying to figure out? Ah, yep. I think... I think I might have found another way out. What? What? Really? Now please, June. Oh, okay. All right. The only people who haven't authenticated now are Santa, Clover, and Lotus. So, what's your point? You don't get it. Uh, think about it. Huh? What's the sum of your number and Clover's? Twelve. And what's the digital root of that? Three. Which is Santa's number. By the way, Lotus, uh, what's the number that's currently in the red? Seven plus six plus five equals eighteen. It would be nine, right? Yes. And what will the digital root be if you add three to that? Three. The door's number. There you go! Hey, wait a minute! What the hell are you up to? I'm not up to anything. I'm just waiting. Waiting for what? I'm waiting for the balance to shift. Santa, or Lotus and Clover. Once one of you moves, the others won't have a choice. So I'm waiting. You son of a bitch! You tricked us! And all that stuff you were going on about is all bullshit! Bullshit? Huh. I don't think so. Didn't I tell you I figured out another way to get out of here? This is it. Why the hell would you do something like this? Jumpy. You did this just so you could go through the same door as June. That's it? So, who's it going to be? Santa or Lotus and Clover? Shit! <laughs> Let's go, Clover. Huh? Ow. Fuck! Uh, no, wait! <laughs> this is insane! This isn't right! Yeah, well, you may be right, but... Go! No! You son of a bitch, Junpei! This isn't fair! Do you realize what you just did? You leave them out there, and they can't... Shut it! That's enough! We gotta find the dead or none of this is gonna matter! We got less than a minute left! 
No time for screwing around. Get moving. Damn it. You and I are not done yet, bastard. Where? Where the hell is it? Over there. It's got to be behind the door. Damn. It's pitch dark inside. Can't see a thing. No, wait. I found it. The dead's right over here. Ugh. What? The floor's slippery. Hey! What the hell are you doing? There's something... Get over there! Quick! Get to the dead! There it is! It stopped. It stopped. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get used to doing this. What the... What the hell is this smell? This is vile. I'm gonna puke. Oh, you're right. Oh, this is... Let's get the lights on first. There's a switch over here. Okay, guys, I'm flipping it on. <gasps> what? Hey. Oh, this is... Looks like an explosion. Just like the ninth man. The detonator in his bracelet set off the bottom of his gut. Oh, God. The, the bone is coming out of his left arm. It's definitely an open fracture. The face is the worst. Yeah, you can't even tell who it is. Uh, but the clothes are... Is that... a snake? Oh my god. Why did this happen? No! 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 Stop! Calm down. June. Calm down. No! Get me! Please! <laughs> We're gonna be fine. It's gonna be alright, June. It's going to be okay, Connie. I'll be here with you, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much, Jumpy. Do you feel better? Yes, but I'd like to stay here. For a little while, at least. Jumpy's body is so warm. <sighs> we better get to it. Rabbit hutch. Huh? Oh, you just reminded me of it. The rabbit hutch, I mean. How did I remind you of something like that? Jumpy and the broom. You're always playing around with the broom in front of the rabbit hutch. I was. Don't you remember? You mean, you don't remember that summer either? Of course I remember. How could I forget something like that? It was terrible.
I just kept crying and crying until you came over. You held my hand and you looked very serious and you said, don't cry, I'm going to catch the person who did this. After you told me that, I finally stopped crying. Well, the real fun started after you quit crying. You told me we were going to catch the killer together. <laughs> then we decided that we'd ambush them. Yeah, I remember. But the murderer never showed up. <laughs> we waited for them all summer vacation, and they never showed up. Yeah, but the animals didn't get attacked either. I think all that work amounted to something, you know? Although, you know, if you think about it, we were probably taking on a lot more than we could handle. Hmm, what do you mean? Well, come on, we were just kids. If whoever killed the rabbits had actually showed up, they probably would have had a knife or something. I mean, you must have been pretty worried, right? I, I wasn't worried. Because you were... Because you were there with me. Well, you know, no one else wanted to take care of the animals. I was the only one who asked to do it at first. Yeah, well, boys don't really want to bother with taking care of animals, you know? Well, yeah, but you asked to do it after I did, didn't you? Eh, if it wasn't the rabbits, they were going to make me do something else. You know, I figured it'd be better if I was working with somebody who wasn't too much of a loudmouth, right? Somebody who wasn't going to tell on me if I felt like blowing it off. Really? That's why you volunteered? Yeah, yeah, it is. Really? Of course. Well, uh, we don't really have time to be walking down memory lane like this, you know? We've got to figure out a way out of this room. Otherwise... Yes. I'm going to look over there. I should get back to it myself. Ah! That's right. The pool of blood. Uh, going on and on about old times right next to a corpse? What were we doing? Well, maybe it was because we're in this mess. I have to survive, no matter the cost. I need to make sure she gets out too.
Hey Junpei, you know why thermometers only go up to 170 degrees Fahrenheit? No, I can't say I ever thought about that. At 107 degrees, the cells in the human body start to die, and the organs begin to shut down. The proteins in your cells start to harden. It's like when you hard boil an egg. Even if you cool it down afterwards, it won't go back to being a raw egg. In other words, it's dead. That's why thermometers don't go past 107. There's no point. Oh yeah? But it's pretty rare for a fever to get that high. Even viruses and stuff don't usually drive the body temperature up to 107. Of course, there are other external things that could. Like what? Well, let's see. Something like getting locked in a sauna, or getting thrown into an incinerator and burnt to death. <laughs> yeah, I guess that would get a little hotter than 107 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, I got it! Huh? What's up? Uh, nothing. Forget about it. What was that all about?
There's a large iron door at the end. Let's take a look. Huh? What are you doing, Seven? Well, I figure maybe we might want to come back here sometime. So, I stuck the broom in there to keep the door from shutting. Alright, let's go. Jumpy, look! What's up? What's that on the wall there? Oh, I, I think it's... A map of the ship's interior? It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor, then. We'll have time to study it later. Let's keep going for now. Ready? I'm gonna open it. What the... You're shitting me. We are back. Clover! Lotus! And Ace! I'm glad you're all okay. Uh, Lotus? What are you... How could you do this to us? Yeah. Knock it off. We got bigger shit to worry about right now. What? Go have a look. Um... I stuck the screwdriver in the door. That door over there, the one without a number. So long as the screwdriver's there, it can't shut, so you can get in there. There's a shower room past there. I stuck a broom at the door there, too. Anyway, go take a look. Then you're saying we can go in there without passing through the numbered door? Yeah, it's about the size of it. Wait, what the hell is in there? You'll know when you see it. Um... Fine, let's go. My goodness. I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. Should I go as well? Yeah, very well. <laughs> Snake was probably murdered. Chances are he was killed the same way the Ninth Man was. It's pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open door three. Then they shoved him into it, and waited nine seconds for the door to shut. Once that door shut, it was all over for Snake. But he didn't give up. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but he probably ran into the shower room looking for the dead. It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to lose. Unfortunately, it didn't work. The detonator is only deactivated if everybody who authentic Snake was the only then they... That happened. I see. So that's what you meant by killers, huh? You need at least three people to open... It wouldn't open... Yeah. That means we're looking at multiple perps here. Well, just in case, I want to make sure. Let's say you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? When we all split up to look for the parts for the Reds, I think. Right after that was when we noticed he was gone. And that means none of us have alibis. We were all off searching the rooms we'd been assigned, looking for those parts. Yeah, that means anybody could be a killer. W wait a minute. What are you talking about? How can you say that so casually? You're implying that one of us is a killer. Well, not just one of us. If I'm right, then at least two of us are murderers. Why don't you calm down a bit, Seven? What are you going to gain by being so suspicious? That's what Zero wants, you know? What Zero wants? Exactly. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? Any game has a winner and loser. Whoever makes it through door nine is a winner. 
and those who don't are the losers. Zero is trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other? Yes. That is why we can't let ourselves fall prey to suspicion. We have to trust one another and form a strong bond of friendship. Otherwise, we'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. Then does that mean that the person who killed Snake... Yes. Almost certainly Zero himself. If there's anyone we should doubt, it should be Zero. He masterminded this game and kidnapped all of us. Doesn't it seem reasonable that he would have killed Snake as well? Hmm, good question. If Zero killed Snake, then Zero is on the ship with us. Uh, something's still strange. Hmm? What was that? Well, I'm just wondering about one thing. And what's that? How can you be so sure that Zero's on this ship? Really, Junpei? I confess I'm a little disappointed. Usually, you're rather sharp. Isn't it obvious? Wait, it is? This ship! Huh? Zero said, this ship, several times when he addressed us. If he weren't here, he wouldn't say, this ship, would he? He'd be saying something like, that ship, or the ship. Oh. Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. If Zero's on the ship, where is he? I think... I think Zero is one of us. Hmm. Well, that's possible. Huh? Like Clover said, Zero might be one of us. What are you saying, Jumpy? Didn't you hear what Ace said? Exactly. I said we shouldn't suspect one another for no reason. No reason? I've got a great reason. Then what's that? The bracelets. Why are the bombs in our bodies connected to the bracelets? You're all thinking Zero's hiding somewhere watching us, right? If he's doing that, then he could just detonate the bombs by remote control if someone did something they weren't supposed to. It would be a lot more precise and a lot easier. But, if that's the case, then why is the bomb set off by the detonator in the bracelet? Huh. You got a point. I'm not done. Try applying the same ideas to the Nonary game. All of the puzzles here run all by themselves. In other words, Zero doesn't have to be controlling them for the game to move forward. Why's that? Why would Zero bother to do something like that? So let's say you and Clover are right. Zero's one of us. If that's the case, then it'd be really hard for him to keep track of all of us or control anything remotely. That's why all the puzzles run by themselves. That's what you're getting at, right? Yeah. Seven, when we were talking earlier, you said any one of us could be Snake's killer, right? Yeah, something like that. All right, then. I've got a question for you, Ace. You said something like Zero must be the one who killed Snake, right? Yes, something like that. I can't think of any other explanation. So what do we get if we combine those? They fit together pretty well, I think. Something like this. Whoever killed Snake is Zero. Hence, Zero is one of us. Seven and Ace's theories aren't mutually exclusive. They actually complement each other pretty well. At least they do if Zero. What were his motives? His motives? Yes, isn't that pretty important? Why would Zero want to hide as one of us? Oh, well, that's because... Um, I... don't know. Well, so much for making a persuasive argument, Junpei. In other words, you only had circumstantial evidence. I don't really think that's enough to go on, you know? Ah. It's three in the morning. That means we have three hours left. Then we need to move now, Seven, Clover, Junpei. I know how you feel, but you do understand that right now... You're right, but... We must go! Our next destination is... Mercury. Here we go. Uh. Oh, that 
What's the... Yeah, I found it in the shower room. Oh, I see. It's got the Mercury symbol. Now we can go. Looks like there's only two floor buttons working. C and bottom. Time to head down then. This is a numbered door. Yeah, it's door two. So who should go through the door this time? We don't need to be discussing who we're leaving behind this time, right? Right. It's set up so we'll be able to meet up again once we get through the numbered doors. Then there's no need for arguments at this point. Hmm. We should figure out who's going in first. Very well. Would anyone like to volunteer? I'll do it. I'll go too. And I suppose I need to go too, then. All right. We're taking off. Okay. Please be careful. Jesus. You two are acting like you're married, you know that? Oh. Um... <laughs> Don't be silly. Cut it out. All right, let's go. Yeah. Let's do this. Where the hell is it this time? I don't see it! Oh, there it is! It stopped. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I'm not sure it's something... We should finish this game before... <laughs> All right. This hallway's pretty short, but it's got five doors. Three are on the left, and only one on the right. Don't forget the last one at the end of the hall. Uh, but it's got a metal plate over it, so I doubt we're going to get anywhere that way. All right, let's get started. I think we'd probably better split up. You two okay with that? Yes, no problem. Sure thing. Then I'll take this first one. I'll try the one next to it. Well, I guess I'd better get...